Hello everyone, this is Quantitative Research Methods in Social Sciences class. What will we see in this class? First of all, we will start with a general topic. What is science? In the second chapter, uh, we will get a little bit more specific by talking about scientific research. So the title of the second chapter is What is Scientific Research? The third chapter is What are Quantitative Research Models? And the fourth one is what are the quantitative research methods and methods and st stages. And at the end of this presentation, you will see the planning and writing quantitative research chapter. What about the basic functions of science? The first function is understanding. Second one is explanation. The third one is ideographic, which means explanation of a specific event. The fourth one is nomothetic which means general disclosure of more events and at the end we see control as you see understanding is to to see what we observe and in the second stage we start to uh, develop an explanation about it and in the third one we make it even more specific in our explanation gets narrower here as you see and uh, at the fourth stage, we, we slowly, slowly start reaching some findings or conclusions about our, uh, our understanding or our observation. And at the end, we control or try or test our, uh, our findings, if, 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 uh, whether it can be generalized to any uh, similar circumstances or not. Some common chart representation types include histogram, columnar chart, and pie chart. Bar charts or graphs are used for separate variables. They can have horizontal and vertical orientations and have a small gap between the columns. The terminology is imprecise, but histograms are vertical column charts mostly used for evenly spaced or proportioned data. So at the end of this chapter, we can now summarize the whole writing process just like this. First of all, of course, introduction. Introduction has uh, some subtitles, of course. The most general characteristics of the situation must be included in the introduction as the first thing to, to do. Secondly, outline of the general situation. The introduction must also include how the materials were collected. Detailed information about the environment also must be stated or mentioned in the, in the introduction. And uh, besides how the report is organized, also another requirement for introduction. Secondly, the situation. In other words, the main, the main things, the unique side of the writing. Of the writing. It also includes some subtitles. Analytical categories is the first um, first thing to do in situation or in the uh, body of the, of the whole writing. Contrasts between the situation and other situation. In other words, a comparison between the between your situation and the uh, other or previous situations is also another requirement to be mentioned in the body or the situation part of the of the writing. Is the last one the evaluation of the situation over time? A historical uh, historical evaluation of the situation is also another thing to to make the the meaning of your writing richer or stronger. After situation or the body part of the writing, there comes strategies and uh, and also summary and implications as the another one. So after all of these explanations, we finally came to the end of this presentation and this course. Thank you very much for your patience and for your uh, attendance, for your uh, attention. Thank you very much. And I hope this was, uh, this was useful for you and you benefited and it, could, it contributed a lot to your uh, academic studies. I wish you to meet you in another course. Thank you very much and I wish you best of luck with your studies. Thank you. Bye.